gonna try today. Um, first of all, I got this, oh, it's so dirty already, because I've been painting. I got this fun palette knife. It's Liquitex, I think, oh no, there's paint on it. Oh, number 15, and it looks like a little flower petal. So I'm gonna use that to swipe today once I clean it. Um, and I got some new pigment colors that I wanted to try out. Um, and I'm going to do another split pillow, but this time I'm going to do on this 16 inch round, I'm going to use color to go, which is my favorite tint tintable paint, but this is called anchors away, which is this really beautiful navy blue. So I'm going to do one side blue one side white colors down the middle i'm going to try a single swoosh swipe again but because we're doing blue and white those are the colors we're going for so let's talk about my pouring medium if you've been watching my videos you know that i've been struggling to find a consistent one because in canada i use watco or i was and some cans were really thick and some were thin so i am using bear 8300 for my pigments. However, when I add two paints to it, um, they usually seize up and get really thick. So my idea was to use golden fluids and pigments together because they're both very thin and I could use the same ratio. So my ratio is four parts Josonia to one part bare. Now, for pigments, what I do is because I use these four ounce cups, I usually put about an ounce of Josonia in the cup, add my pigments, and then add my three to one pouring medium. With the fluids, you can do the same thing, like put an ounce in a cup, mix your fluid, and then put your three to one medium if you don't wanna keep mixing different cups because that can get really annoying. So let's talk about our colors. Since we're doing, I'm getting this really right. Since we're doing blacks and whites, I thought I would on, I mean, sorry, blues and whites. On the blue side, I would lay titanium white, golden first for some contrast. And on the white side, I would add Payne's gray, golden fluid. Now golden's Payne's gray, is much bluer than, for instance, um, an Amsterdam Payne's Gray, which I use for my cell activator, which is more of a black color. So that's where we're starting. Now, we let's go to some pigments. Um, this pigment um, I just got is called Frost. It's from this little piggy. Love them, fluidart.co. So I figured I would layer that on top. And then, of course, I love an interference color. This is, oops, this is velvet. I'm making a mess already, Lord, of course. Um, that's velvet. It's a blue interference color, really nice. Then uh, I'm gonna add another acrylic color, cobalt turquoise. And I'm gonna top it off with some mermaid and a favorite new color, mango. So these are the colors. This looks like really messy. I shouldn't have done it this way. Um, and my cell activator today, I'm going to use Atelier Interactive Silver. I'm using the Shelly Art recipe, so please take her class. Um, you have a 15% off discount code in my comments. Um, let's see if I can put these back in order. And so I'm basically doing paint, pigments, paints, pigments. You do wanna think about your layering, swiping, it's a little more forgiving than if you're blowing it out, but I do like to put some paints in the middle um, to hold up my pigments a little better. Am I missing anything? Oh, so I'm gonna use this swiping tool. I'm just gonna cover it with the cell activator and smoosh, 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 smoosh and see what happens. Hopefully I can get some interesting. Now, usually when I smoosh, I don't go far enough. So I want to really get some interesting colors on either side of the blue and the white. So I think that's it. Um, I'll get right back with you. Okay, tried it, didn't like it, new plan. Um, that tool was like too big and it wasn't giving me what I wanted. So I'm going back to this little guy. Um, 
Southern Liquitex one. I don't know the number, but I really like the flatness. Um, so we're just going with the anchors away and we're going to do this again. What are we doing? You might ask. Well, and how big do I want to do it? Those are all good questions. So let's start with the white. And I'm gonna try not to put too much paint down. See what happens. We'll top that with the Payne's Gray. A little contrast. Okay. Then we'll go Mermaid. No, sorry, this is Frost. Try not to be too messy here. Right, <laughs> and then we'll do the velvet, which is the interference blue. I love interference colors. The way the light reflects them, especially when you resin, they really look 3D. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna do a little bit of the cobalt turquoise. It's a little green, so I don't want it so crazy. I just want a little um, something in between my pigment layers. Not even dripping down. Just a little. Okay. Then I'll go with. Do I even need mermaid? Maybe I don't even need it because it's pretty green and I have those sparklies. <clears throat> so maybe I'll just do mango right on top. everywhere because I want I don't want it to take over everything so I'm going to so you hear Mo yelling in the background okay so let's load up oh, let me clean my tool let's load up the tool and see what happens I don't want too much gel activator I don't want it too thick so I'm spreading it out just in a thin layer like that so let's think about this for a second um i'm going to start at the top and smooth her down right Definitely things happening. It's quite green at the bottom. Um, what can we do here at the top? I love the Payne's gray and the white together there. So I'm gonna assume, I don't know how much paint is under here. And if I blow this out, it might, might just show pillow. Um, I'm not sure I love these colors. That's a big glob there, which I don't love. Um, so let's think. The cells are kind of cute. I mean, it's really hard for me to tell because they're not my color, so I don't know if it looks good or not. Can I take my little swiper and just, let me break this up. With my little swiper, I'm just going to pull it up a bit because it's kind of boring. Okay, so let's get to tilting. I want to, I'm not gonna spin it out as of yet because I want the cells to, to grow a, a bit and see where they go. is stuck right at the top and I don't want to distort the cells too much. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, so the top part, sneakers, the top part that I liked is not going to, 
stop. Sorry, guys. They're so crazy. The Great Dane and the <clears throat> Maltese. Okay, let's spin a bit and see what happens. We're not really sure. I'm going to have to get rid of the, this top part because it's not really moving. Let's get that spin off a bit. doing here I mean it's okay certainly nothing special the bottom parts kind of boring So what I'm going to do, and it's kind of just right in the middle, which is also boring because you want some interest. So I'm going to actually put it off center on my spinner because I want this part down and it's not really going to tilt. So let's see if that works a little bit. Get gravity working for me. I mean, there's some cool dimensions in there. Let's see how much paint there's left. All right, we had a touch more paint we can spin off. Do my off-center trick. I mean, the sparkle obviously is nice. Um, I don't know guys, cause it's just not my aesthetic. Um, what do you guys think? I'm gonna do a close up. Tell me what you think. Failed it, kinda nailed it, don't know. Uh, thanks for joining me, bye.